Here in Newfoundland and Labrador, we have always made our home from the sea. It's the story of our relationship with the sea that's the key to understanding who we have become and who we will remain. In recent years, the central thread of our story has become distorted. That thread is a contribution of sealers. With Home from the Sea, we intend to bring the true story of the seal fishery into the light. It was two years ago that the Elliston Heritage Foundation approached me. That group recognized that the 100th anniversary of the 1914 sealing disasters was fast approaching and that no memorial existed to commemorate those tragedies. Now's the time to make this memorial a reality. Those who have chosen to make a home on our unforgiving coasts have always relied heavily on sealing. The earliest Aboriginal peoples would discover how to take advantage of this vital resource and later teach European settlers to do so. Sealing was and still is essential to the Inuit and Inu way of life, permeating everything from food traditions to arts. Together Aboriginal peoples and settlers would go on to build strong trading relationships. This focus on sealing will prove to be viable and valuable to the industry and essential to the economic growth and social fabric of Newfoundland and Labrador. In fact, the seal fishery complemented and supported the migratory cod fishery so profoundly that it finally allowed for permanent settlement of many parts of our rugged province. We're what we are today because of many things definitely because of the seal industry, because it's the last major piece that fitted in the puzzle. The spring sealing industry was dominated by intense storms and unfortunately, lives were lost. In 1914, 251 beloved sons and fathers were lost upon the ice fields. Joseph Antle's father was among those who survived. The 15-year-old stowaway was not permitted on the ice because he did not meet the age requirement. I thank God that the, the captain decided not to put him on the ice. He could have because he could have said to himself, well, this young lad stole away, but the captain sees fit not to do that. And we're also thankful that he didn't because the end result would have been disaster. The end result was disaster and a tremendous blow to a population of 250,000. The tragedies would become a catalyst for positive change and eventually lead to improved legislation. After the uh, Newfoundland and Southern Cross disasters of 1914, the sealers uh, were protected more so by uh, government and that bettered the life of the sealers considerably. Home is what we work to build through all our efforts. We have always gone to sea and faced its inevitable risks and dangers with the notion of home in our hearts. That's everything you work for is just to, to get home with your family at the end So, and everybody is in the same uh, same boat they all you know work so that you can get home home is our center a place we claim as our own where we belong there is no doubt that our current and future prosperity is intrinsically linked to the sea the sealers memorial will honor the tremendous sacrifices and outstanding contributions of our forebearers while continuing to build awareness and educate future generations of proud Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Now is the time. It is with great pride that I ask you to join me in our campaign to commemorate the sacrifices of those who made their living for themselves and for us at sea.